Okay, we just finished our game, got our results, and now we want to know how we did. Did we take all our tricks? Did we give some away? Did we bid enough? Did we bid too much? How do we know? Well, welcome to the Common Games tutorial in our Fast Results Analytics. This Common Game tool allows you to analyze your bidding and play against the double dummy statistics for any common game you've played in. Let's see how it works. To see the analytics for a game, Start by going to your personal results page on the Common Game website. You can get there either by clicking on the link in the results email that's sent to you after the game, or by going directly to the website of thecommongame.com. Entering your ACBL number in the box in the upper right hand corner, and hitting Login. Here with his permission, we're looking at Jay Whipple's personal page. Let's look at the analytics for the game he played on September 6th. Looking down the game date column, we come to September 6th. And there, next to the date, you'll see the letters FRA. Clicking on the FRA link brings up the analytics for this game. The first thing to note is that all of the columns in this matrix can be sorted by simply clicking on the arrow next to the column header. So, if you want to look at the boards in the order of your field percent, click the arrow for that column and sort by worst to best score or best to worst. Then, if you want, you can go back and sort by board. Just click on the arrow for that column. This sorting function gives you great flexibility in how you look at the data. Second, notice that if you hold your cursor over any column heading that has an asterisk, a detailed explanation for that column pops up. This is helpful in understanding the data that's being displayed in that column. Now, let's pretend we're J and look at the data that's presented here. The first four columns are self-explanatory, showing you the game date, the board number, the position you were playing for that board, namely declarer, dummy, defending, or on lead, and the result for the board. The next column is extra tricks. This column shows you the over tricks, shown in green, or under tricks, shown in red, that your side made on that hand. For example, looking at board four, we see that the table result was four hearts by East, making five. According to Double Dummy, East can only make four hearts. So Declarer, in this case you, made one extra trick, and that's shown by the green one in the extra tricks column. Now let's look at board seven. Here the table result was two hearts by North, making two. According to Double Dummy, North, your opponents, can only make one heart, not two. Thus, we see a red minus one in the extra tricks column, indicating that you took one less trick than you could have on defense. Continuing on, the next columns list your score for that board, the lead if that data was collected, and your percent versus the common game field. Now we come to the optimal contract, optimal score, and bidding commentary columns. The optimal contract is the contract that should have been bid either by north-south or east-west to achieve the optimal score for that board, considering the best contract that could be made according to Double Dummy. Note that if you hover your cursor over the optimal contract, a pop-up box appears showing you the makeable contracts. The optimal score column shows the score that you would have received had the optimal contract been bid and made. For example, let's look at board 2. Here, your partner played three diamonds going down two for minus 100. Looking at the optimal contract, we see that your opponents, north-south, could have bid and made three spades, resulting in a score for you of minus 140. So, according to double dummy analysis, this was a good board for you, scoring at minus 100 instead of minus 140. Looking at the bidding commentary column, we see it says they missed partial, indicating what could have been done better on this board. Looking further at the bidding commentary column, you'll notice that some of the comments are in gray. In considering double dummy analysis, we realize that sometimes the bids or plays needed to make the contract suggested are not considered reasonable plays or bids. Therefore, if no one in the field bid the optimal contract, we gray out the bidding commentary as it may not deserve the same weight. For a more in-depth discussion of the optimal contract, Please see our tutorial entitled Optimal Contracts Explained. The last column is Team Scoring. Here we imp score your actual result against the optimal score, which shows the amount by which you beat the opposition using team or rubber bridge scoring. So on board one, 
you as East-West scored minus 50. If the optimal contract had been bid and made at the other table, as in a team game, East-West would have scored minus 300, meaning your partners at the other table, North-South, would have a plus 300. Comparing those scores, your team scored a plus 250 on the board, beating your opponents by 6 imps. Okay, I've saved the best for last. Would you like to see the hand? How about replaying it or figuring out the best lead? Just click on any board number. This will bring up the hand in the Hand Viewer tool on BridgeBase Online. Here you can play the handout yourself, or you can use the Play or the Give button to learn the best card play suggested by Double Dummy. There's a lot of information on this Fast Results Analytic page, and we hope it'll help you analyze your game and improve your play. Thanks for watching our tutorial. If you still have questions on this topic, or if you have suggestions for other tutorials, please email us at help at thecommongame.com. Thanks for watching.